is working better than some of the quick set legs we have. Well, this isn't looking very good for this lock here. All right, thanks for joining us on another video on Guardian Approved. Uh, today, we're gonna do a review of this Geek Smart <clears throat> Smart Door Lock. So, um, someone, the, I guess the manufacturer of this reached out to me and wanted us to, to review their product. So, this is it. So, there's another one over there in the box. But what it is, is this is, a, I believe it's a four in one. So, you can use the app, you can use a key, you can use a code on the front of it, or you can use an RF tag, like a, like a prox tag. And then on top of it, it shows you here, virtual password, auto unlock and lock, share users unlock record. So it keeps track like an audit trail, uh, easy installation and it has some encryption in there. So um, it looks like a pretty interesting product, but I've never opened it. Like literally this isn't open. That one's not open. These are the only two I've got. So um, I'm staying true to what we taught, what we said we were going to do. And I have no pre um, ex prior experience at all installing this or even touching this item. So. Let's do this together and see how this lock works. So it says on here too, it's uh, Amazon Alexa compatible, uh, Google Assistant compatible. So I, the point of this channel is to open it in front of you, install it in front of you and learn with you as we do it, right? Just as if you were doing this on your own, I'm going through it for you basically. So if I miss something or whatever, it's, it's I missed it because I didn't see it, right? But I'm gonna just give you the best I can on it. So let's open this up. Right, so here's your instruction manual right here. It's got uh, colors and pictures and everything. So it looks very, very good. Looks like a very good and useful instruction sheet. Geek Smart, bring the future home. This is a warranty card and how to obtain warranty service and everything. So it looks like they have a good warranty department and good customer service. You got emails, phone numbers. I like that, that doesn't happen a lot. So this is, this is a good, a good step in the right direction. I'll put that over there. Also, it gives you the, the, what do you call it? Template, I guess, where you fold it over the edge of the door. And if it's a commercial back set or residential back set, it gives you both of that as well. So you don't have to have a locksmith jig or tools that locksmiths have to do it. You can do it yourself. Just follow this template. And as long as you have the hole saws, you can do a fresh install of it if you needed to. Next, we got a little box here. Let's see what's in this box. <clears throat> we got the latch. I'll take that out right now. So that's easy. We all know the latch is step one always. All right, there we go. So I'll put the latch in. Perfect. All right, so in here I've got some screws. This is the little cap that goes in frame. You won't need that. These, it looks like are the RF tags that come with it. It comes with two uh, radio frequency tags. It's like a badge basically, but you put it on your keychain. it looks like. <clears throat> There's a manual key for the deadbolt, just in case, as always. It looks like it's a Schlage five cut SE1. And then we have our screws and then our plate that goes on the uh, frame side, which we won't need this today either. So I'll set that aside, open this up. I'll move all my trash out of the way. Oh, this one is a, the box makes you think it's a silver one. So I wonder if it says the finish on here somewhere that I didn't see it maybe. Because I don't see where it says on the box where the finish is. Let me check if this one has a different part number. They were supposed to send me two different finishes, but I thought they sent me two silvers because it looks like it's two silvers. But let me see if the numbers are different. There is big number of differences on these. So, um, oh, silver right there. And let me look on that wrapping because that's where it was. Yeah, and this one is the, it doesn't say on here, but it doesn't say silver. So it looks like I got the 10B1, which is the oil rub bronze, and that's a US 15 standard satin nickel. So I know it comes with those two finishes for sure. So there's your uh, oil rub bronze, Venetian bronze, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is a nice, has a nice copper tones to the dark, dark brown copper, to uh, copper tones, sorry. And then supposedly under here, there's supposed to be a keyhole. I don't know how that works, but I saw it. I'll figure out how that works. So, sorry, get that out of the way. So let's keep going in here. We've got this, pretty heavy, a little metal plate. That's probably what uses to hold the deadbolt on the door. And then the back side. 
And that's it in there. So I'll move that there. So I've got the inside piece, which there's a button here. Probably releases that, no? Okay, that just slides up. I said there's four double A's. I've got some double A's here just in case. And they had screws in there. Well, these are the two screws that went in there, so I'll just leave those there. All right, so we've got the outside, the mounting plate, this piece, and that place that goes on the inside, so it's not very many pieces in our screws. Let's go with the instructions here. So, tells you right here some of the features, you know, this is the battery cover, this is the internal power, uh, a panel, sorry, this is the mode switching button, this little button right here. Uh, the unlock lock knob, like standard. And it shows you that on this side, there is a reset button right there. And there's a, the socket right here, which is what this plugs into. So it breaks all that down right here. Now up front, it's saying tricolor LED indicator. So on this, this is gonna be tricolor, three color indicator. So I guess the different colors tell you what it does. Uh, the swipe card keypad is this right here also. So this is where you touch your little card to. Um, micro USB emergency charging port <laughs> and a keyhole is under here. So I wonder how you open that keyhole because it doesn't really say. Uh, turn it, push it, slide it, move it. Well, I literally pushed on every side. Well, wanted to move, there you go. So there it is. So this is a micro USB emergency charging port. So I guess you could hook a cable up to it and charge it with some kind of external charger if you had to get in. I mean, key override will get you in there, so just use the key. There's the two keys. So, yep, yeah, we're fine. So, all right, so that's what this looks like. It kind of pops out of place like that. So it snaps. Oh, it's a lift up. Okay, lift up and move over. So it kind of lifts away, you can see. I'm trying to do it slow like that and then spin. So you pull towards you and spin it. That's a pretty deep, because most people, if they mess with it, they're like, oh, this thing doesn't come off. But when you pull on it, then move it, it moves very easily. So that's pretty neat. Excuse me. So next page here, uh, check the doors dimensions, basically trying, telling you to check the back set, which this is fine. So I'm just going to screw these whole, one of these holes in, uh, screws in just to keep the latch in place. It's not staying here permanently, so I don't need to screw the other one in. It's just for the demo purposes. But so far, I like what I see. It looks like they have a good amount of features, the, the, the instructions are pretty uh, clear and straightforward. Nothing's too complicated, so so far so good. I and mean, the price point for this guy, I went and looked online, it's $89.99. It's a pretty good price point, especially for all the features. I mean, you got prox readers, I mean, you got apps, you got keys, so, so far so good. It gives you everything that's included in the box, so you can make sure you had it, shows you exactly kind of how everything breaks down. So I could tell just from looking at this, I can probably quickly put this together. Let's get two of these screws here. That's gonna hold this plate onto that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going through though and just kind of following what it says. We got the latch in. Don't need to put on the frame because I don't have a door frame here. Oh, it's talking about the, uh, the throw. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This goes on first, right? So I'm gonna put this like this with the cable going underneath the uh, the deadbolt. Now, the bolt is thrown back in, so I have to time the tailpiece all the way back so that it has room when I turn the key to throw the bolt that way. So it's called timing the tailpiece. That's kind of what that was doing. So I'm gonna turn it all the way this way so that it now has room to throw that way. Okay, so underneath, tailpiece goes right in there in the crosshair. So I'm gonna take this plate right here. Okay, so I'm gonna have my two screws here. Let's screw this in all the way. And they're long, so I mean, that's good. And the tailpiece is long too, which means it can work on pretty thick doors. So the longer I have to screw these screws in, it means the, the thicker the door you can accommodate. And this is actually kind of a thick display as well. We're in business, okay? So then, it tells you about all that. Okay. All right, yeah. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plug it in. Should I come on the bottom or top? I said it goes to the bottom. So it kind of slides in. So this goes on like that. 
So let's try putting this in just... There you go. Okay, so that's in there like that. Okay. Now, um, bolt's thrown that way. You don't want this thrown this way because the bolt is in, which means if it was working right, it's in, the bolt's in. So now I have it timed right. I'm gonna put that over this. Okay, so yeah, just hold that in place. And these are the two screws that fell out of here. I'm just putting them back in, basically. And then, here we go. Okay, good. So, so far the install has been extremely easy. Perfect. All right. Perfect. All right. Shows that. Installing the batteries. You have to insert four double A's according to positive and negative pole. And then you have to get the app here in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the batteries in. Then I'm going to download the app. And then after that, I'll pick right back up. So let me get these batteries in real quick. Sound weird, like a droplet. Um, there we go. Okay, so everything is installed. So let's take a break real quick. Let me get this app downloaded and we'll pick right back up. All right, so I downloaded the app and then it takes me to a screen where it wants me to put in my email, set a password for the app, and then it has a button where you got to click and it sends you it sends you this pin code number once it gets your email to make sure that the email is legit, which I just got the pin number. I entered it in and we're good. So now I've got everything in there. I'm going to hit register. Perfect. Let it allow it to use your location. I like to find and connect devices to your local network. Okay. Uh, find your location, allow while using app. All right. So now that I'm in here, it shows the temperature, the humidity, uh, I guess the weather outside for some reason. Um, if I want to add device, let's see what it tells me to do here. So scan the QR code, which I did. It got me this. I downloaded it. Um, then adding a new door lock it says keep your phone close to the lock during this process. So add device. There's these two devices right here. And I'll click on that one. Please wake the door lock. It says please press any button to wake it up. Next, nearby door lock. There it is. This is working better than some of the quick set legs we have. So let's see here. Wow. Okay, please check the opening direction of your door. This is so they can know if it's left hand or right handed so it can throw the bolt. Um, I would say the hinge would be on this side then, so left hinged, so click that. Success. All right, click to unlock. Well, let's go ahead and lock it. Um, I usually things don't work this flawless, so this is pretty, pretty impressed with it. And it's not Schlage or quick. I mean, it's not quick set or Schlage. This is a geek smart. So, you know, people say, ah, oh, it's a knockoff brand. Well, this, this works probably just as reliable as the quick sets and Schlage I had, if not more on some, some things right now. So I just hit that button, it locks and it locks it. Um, let me see what it tells me, anything else that I missed in here. That's where we're at right there. Password management, so let's do this then. So we can go to password management. I click on that, it says no passwords. Okay, what do I need to add a password? Upload lock passwords. Um, let me see. Password management, okay. So it says click the plus and upper button. I mean upper button in the corner. It says, uh, administra administrator can manage passwords. And it's giving you the ones in here. So if I want to add a password, let's see what it does. Permanent, okay, name, Uriah. Password is gonna be, it's not let me, oh, done. Oh, create password. Why is it creating it for me? Password must be used at least once in 24 hours after setting up, otherwise being valid. This is a permanent password. I'm wondering why it's setting it for me though. Oh, administrator can manage passwords. Okay, so I guess send. 
boarding password. I put my email in. Okay, put my email in. Sending. Uh, let's see what happens in my email. Here we go. Sent you an unlocked password. Do not disclose it. Okay, so I, don't, I guess this is a one-time password. Oh yeah, because that yeah, that's password management. Then there's users management. It's just a weird way of how they labeled it. Password management. Okay. So it gave me a code, the one that it automatically set. Let's see if it works. Um, nine, eight. I don't know if it accepted the first one. Is it a pound? It says plus and then pound. Operation Let's see if it took the first number. I don't think it took the first number. So that's woken up. Now nine, sorry, eight, seven, seven, two, five, three, six. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay. That's one thing I don't like is it tells you the password. I can't almost show you this. So it shows you the password, then has a plus sign, then has a pound sign. So I had to know, guess, and say, I guess I ended the password and probably hit the lock button, and that's what happened to open it. So that wasn't very clear. It's also not very clear why I was setting that password. It looks like that's more of a a one-time use thing. So now that I've done that, would I close this? Because it won't let me out of that screen. Okay, so now I'm back to the app. Here's the device. Password management it has that one in there for me. Permanent, but I'm gonna go back here and see user management. Okay, so if I add a user, you have to put in their email, a long email address. Pain type in um, Okay, and then my name. Done. Okay, and then you click. I want to show my email here, so it gives me the option to put limited time, and you can set the date and time you want it to take a effect from, like start time and end time, or I can do permanent, which I just selected permanent, and then I could also um, move my finger over this. It has limited time or permanent. I click to permanent. And then at the very bottom, it has a selector. It says allow remote unlocking. So I'll go and click on that. That means I could unlock it with my phone. And then I'm going to hit send. So that's a user. I just created me as a user. And it's showing, I click on it. There we go. I just got an email now. So I go to that email. Your contact list friend has opened the app Bluetooth remote unlock for you. Please log in the app to operate and check. Okay. So now I'm in the app. So if I go to user management, it shows me here, but it says not receive. Name, permission type, permanent, effective time, permanent, permanent. Wow, oh, okay. So still says not received. So I don't know what's going on here. Permanent, permanent, permanent account status. It doesn't give me, this is where it's getting kind of not clear now. So start off with password management which I don't get why it's having me set a password up front and then have a user separate. So then I go to user management. It says, please click add one. Administrator can manage all users. Admins can send e-keys to emails. The receiver needs to download the GeekSmart app to log in and use the e-key. Administrators can manage all users, delete limited time user or permanent user and view unlock records. Okay. Wow. So, Password management refers to the digital password combination of the door lock. You can send passwords to others to grant access. You can do a one-time password, you can do permanent, you can do a limited time from start to finish time, uh, and you can customize your password. That is, per that is permanent password. Add Bluetooth administrator. Make sure the door lock administrator is not added. What? Make sure the door lock administrator is not added. When the back light is off, the user touches the numeric keypad to wake up the door lock. After hearing the voice prompt, please add Bluetooth, Bluetooth administrator. So that's not very clear. Make sure the door lock administrator is not added. Well, I mean, I don't even know how to. There's fingerprint management on here. I think they have a fingerprint version. Unlocking record, IC management card. So I'm just going to go administrator password. 
come in here right now. I click, oh, okay, you just made up a password or what? I don't like that it's making up passwords for me and not letting me select anything. I don't even know what that is. So I hit this little button here next to administrator password. And it makes, makes that number up, 1898632. Battery level, click on that. 100%. Okay. Yeah, this is confusing. This is all that went very good. This is not very clear at all. This is where it's not as good as I thought I was going to give it a rating probably. So um, password management. There's a permanent one in here. It gave me that password right there, which is different than that other one. So it just says name, permission type, permanent, effective time, permanent account status, permanent. So, okay. There's the device, user management. Okay, if I create another user, I could do limited time, I could do permanent, like I said up here. So I'm creating users. I can create a user, it says not received too. I don't know what that means. Let's see, it says changing admin password. Okay, well here's settings by keypad. So here's where it goes into next. Right here it tells me, it says add Bluetooth administrator. This is a word for word what it says. Make sure the door lock administrator is not added. Well, I mean, I don't even know how to do that. So there's nowhere in here it even tells you how to add an administrator or how to make an administrator. If I hit it to user management and add a user, it doesn't give me an option to make that an administrator. So I'm lost for what they mean by that. Then it says when the backlight is off, which it is off, the user touches the numeric keypad to wake up the door lock. Okay. After hearing the voice, voice prompt, which I didn't, please add Bluetooth administrator. Open the mobile phone app and begin the door lock adding process. So that's not happening. So it like skips over administrator just nonchalantly right here. It says, right when I go back to the password management, it says, please click the plus in the right in the corner. So here's a device, password management, told me to click there and hit this plus sign, which I did. Upload lock passwords, which I don't know what that means, or add password. So if I hit add password, it's just what I did before. It's either a one-time code, a limited time, a custom. Okay. All right. Wait a second here. Well, now it's like letting me put in a password for it. Let's see if it lets me name it or put one in. David. I put David in and I try to do a password. And you have to hit create password and it creates one for you. So I don't like that. Let's go to custom. Maybe if I do custom, I want a permanent. I want it to be for David. And then now I create a code. Okay. One, two, three, four, two, 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 two. Okay. So if I do that, now it wants an email. Okay. And I get stuck in this menu here where I have to hit create and send, or I have to just literally, I can't go back and get out. I have to close the app and go back in the app. And now it takes me back to the main screen. I can't even go back. So there's some glitchy things in here. Now it added the lock twice now, actually. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to delete one, I guess. I mean, I can't even delete it because. Wow. So now I've got two devices in here. This one gives me all these details. This one gives me nothing except for remote unlock. And this is typical of most of these companies. They don't, their instructions and stuff is all off. Um, I don't have a way of deleting this. I mean, I can hold it down. I mean, what do I do? Add a device? Is it giving me a subtract a device? No. Delete device. Okay, so that one I could delete. This one I go into, I can't delete. Everything is wonky on this thing. So let me delete this first one because I have no idea what's going on now and it deleted the other one. Anyway, these are the kind of things that, that happen all the time that doesn't talk about any of this in here. So let me add this device again. So this one right here, wake up the door lock. Oh, now it randomly says that when it's never said that before. So now I have to add a Bluetooth administrator, which is what it mentioned in here. Okay. Bluetooth connection timed out, please just start. Okay, great. 
How did I add an administrator when the lock hasn't even been added yet? I'm at a little bit of a loss. Okay, here we are back again to this. Confirm. Okay, now I'm back to square one here where I have my lock on there. So, let's try to add a user now. So I add a user, right? Limited time or permanent? Let's make this one permanent. I hate that you have to put an email in. Well, this is, uh, oh, that's so weird because there's user and password management. So let's go into user manager. Let me add a user. All right, there. I added it. Remote unlocking. Yes, send me the thing. So now I should be a user. Now I go to my email. But it's going to send me an email. Okay, so all that's in there. Let's go back to the app here. Because if I go to user management, it says everything's in there, but it has not received yet. So I don't know how that, maybe I have to wake it up. It says changing admin password. Well, nowhere in here does it tell me where an admin is. I don't, I don't know where there is an admin. It just says not received, which I have no way of clearing that out. So I would say that there's software and this needs a bunch of work because this would irritate me to the point where I'd probably return it. It works great. It's very simple, but this, now they're making it all complicated by not being clear with their instructions. So password management is, I don't even know what that is because password management is just a password. Come in here and hit add a password. It just wants, you know, I can do the custom. So I can add a user this way. We'll go to custom. All right, I'll put my name in Uriah and I'm just gonna make it two, 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 done. Create and send, because it has to send me an email again. And it wants my email again. Paste. There. Success. Once again, I'm stuck in this page. I can't get out of here without closing the app. But let me go to my email first. Okay, close the app, because it gets me stuck in there where I can't move. Now the lock's in there twice again. Well, this isn't looking very good for this lock here because I can't get it into basic programming because the instructions aren't clear. It literally says password management, tells you how to add it, and then just randomly says administrator can change password, can manage passwords, but doesn't tell you anything about it. It just says that. And then it goes to user management. It's like, well, it should be, if you have a user, you issue a password to the user, not create passwords separately, create users separately and manage. So this is really weird. It's not even working the way it's supposed to. I have two locks in here now, which I don't know how that happened. It's not easy to delete one. I can't just delete one. It's like I have to go and, and I'm not even sure what I have to do, to tell you the truth. I'm sure if I sent this to my text in the field, they'd be very mad at that, how vague everything is here. It tells you how to set a settings by keypad, change admin password, how to do that. Well, I can't even set the password, so I can't change it. Add user password IC card. It's add user passcode slash IC card. Okay, so changing admin password default one two three four five six. Okay, so that's your default. Yeah, I still have two devices in here. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to fix this. I really don't because I've got my lock settings in here in this one. If I have two different locks, I click on this one, it looks completely different. So I don't know if it's just for just locking and unlocking or it just doesn't make sense. That works fine. It's just, it's not clear on what's going on. I have two locks here. If I delete that one, it deletes the other one because that's what happened last time. So if I go into users here, now I'm a user. Permanent doesn't have any codes in there at all. So I go to password management and be like, okay, well, I have the password over here is 22222. But this is a password and these are users and I don't know why they're separate. So let's see if my password works. All right, password works. Maybe that email, I bet you that email is tied to that password email. That's probably how that works. Not clear though, but probably. So if I wanted to go in here, it tells me changing the admin password. 
Well, I don't even know what I need the admin password for because it's not telling me to enter it in anyway. Change your passcode, add a user passcode. Let's do this. If I want to add a user passcode, it says do that. We're just gonna try this. Padlock eight five padlock. Okay. Maybe I have to get into, which it doesn't tell me. Maybe I have to enter the admin password first. Well, they have everything so perfect until when it comes down to the last bit. So frustrating. Well, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish this job, this uh, video on this because they can't. I, it's not clear what I need to do here. So, uh, and I'm pretty savvy with these things. I do it for a living. So I go to user management, I'm in there, but there's no code tied to it. If I go into password management, then yeah, there's a password tied to that one person. I can make another, let's make another user, add password, okay, custom one. And permanent access, his name is gonna be Randall. He's behind the camera. And it's gonna be 1111, done. Great, and I have to create and send, then it's gonna ask me for an email, and then he's gonna have to accept the email, which I'll send it to his work email and you get accepted real quick. Yeah, if everything would have been correct, we would have been done with this video and everything was going so smooth. And then right at the end. And once again, I hit send and I can't leave the screen. So I have to close the app and then reopen it to get back to my main screen. And if I go to, I don't know why this lock is here, but it is. I guess this is just for locking and unlocking. And then this one, well, I could do it in here too. Okay, Randall's got that done. So I go to user management. He's still not in there. Maybe it's a password manager. There it is. All right, so his code is 11111. So let's see if that works now. Wake it up first, then. Okay. All right, well, we figured it out together. Uh, to add users, you have to go to password management, not users management. Users management, not even relevant actually to creating passwords. So if I want to create whoever, Bob, a code, I hit add, create him a code, the email, and that's his code. So we know how to do that. So that's what password management is for. I don't know what the user management is even for at all, actually. Uh, I wish there was some clarity in here, um, but it really, it doesn't say. As far as I can't see, it doesn't, it doesn't say. It says admins can send e keys to emails. The receiver needs to download the GeekSmart app and log into the log in to use the e key. Administrators can manage all users, delete limited time user or permanent user, and view unlock records. That's great, but nowhere does it in here say that I'm an administrator. I don't even know how to make an administrator. It just tells me, or maybe there's just a password for the administrator because that password is one, one through five, one through six. So it says how to change the administrator password. So I'm going to have to keep track of that somewhere because it won't be in here. So if I'm going to keep change the administrator password and see if this works, we're going to do padlock. I have to wake it up and then hit padlock again, which I need to tell you, you have to hit a button to wake it up. Nowhere in here does it say that. Um, one, two, and then pound again. Once again, let's do this again. Hold on. Default is one, two, one through six. Well, that's the, uh, I don't know what to do. That, that's what it says to do here. So, hmm, interesting. For struck, for show you here, wanna zoom in on this? Settings by keypad, changing admin password. There's the default. Padlock, 12 padlock original passcode, which I'm assuming is that because I didn't have any other original passcode. So, and it doesn't tell you because you'd be like, oh, I hit the button and I started hitting things. Well, it didn't tell you that I had to wake it up and then hit the button. So your first touch of the button doesn't actually count, which it doesn't tell you that either. So if I hit this, I have to hit uh, again so it actually counts and then go and then do that again. Okay, well, that's what you uh, said the default was, so. Well, I can tell you this, the install's great. 
I can set the codes and get that working. It's very confusing on how to even change the admin password, how to, uh, I'm not even gonna get into adding these cards. It looks like the same way you, you hit padlock, 85 padlock, administrator password, which it's saying is not, which is weird because down here in the instructions it says administrator password, up here it says original passcode. So I'm like, is it the original code? Let's try that. Is that original code that it just made up in there, the code that it wants? Let me see. Because that might be a possibility. That, that code's not even in here anymore, actually. So no. Hmm. So I go to my users, not in there. I go to password management. I go to me. And it's just that 222 password I set, which let's try that. Yeah, let's, let's try that. So if I go in here, let's do wake it up. Original patent. See, it's telling me administrator's password. Okay. Well, I think we've hit a wall here. <laughs> so, um, I'll say this. I'm a little disappointed because I, I wanted to sell these locks. It looks like a pretty good idea, but the quirkiness in the programming, yeah, we don't have time for our techs to go through the stuff and run in circles with unclear instructions. So, it's time to review it here. Uh, and I want to mention too, UHS Hardware is a sponsor of ours. Check them out, they have all kinds of stuff. Um, a lot of things like this, not this exact model though. Uh, but anyway, UHS Hardware, they're a good partner of ours. And if you're looking for any good hardware and you're in the trade, they're a great supplier. So I can figure out how to do the key. I could use the key. I could enter a code, I could set users. It's a little weird in how that works, but there's, the instructions are horrible. They look great. You look at them like, oh, this is gonna be great. And you get in there and then you realize you're missing all kinds of information. Um, there's troubleshooting and stuff back here. All right, so just to sum this up real quick. It works great, installs great, everything's packaged, looks great. Everything until the point where you get to programming codes, it's great. So, <clears throat> but that's the most important part, adding users, setting codes and things. This is uh, very difficult. They need to go back and rewrite these instructions and clean up some of the mis mis uh miscommunications in there. Um, it's very vague from how to add the administrator password, where an administrator is, how to create your code, what's the difference between password management, user management, because it's all mix and matched. So I'm gonna give it a grade right now. Because the instructions are so bad, um, I'm gonna give this one a three and a half stars. Uh, everything was so good until that part. So if they can go back and fix these instructions and make them clearer, it seems like everything works the way it's supposed to once you get it in there. It's just not clear on how to do anything really uh, from the point on of, of programming. And it's right here at this point where it says how to use, it just takes you in, it says password management. And then it says step one, click plus in the corner, did that. And then it, does, then it just shows a place for a name and a password. Um, and it says password must be used at least once in a 24 hours if you're doing permanent. Okay. So it just gives you that name and a password, which it auto generates a password for you for some reason. I don't know why they can't let you just pick your password. But anyway, and then it says administrator can change passwords, which I can't even change the password. I don't even know who the administrator is because it doesn't say in my app and it's not even accepting the default one. So that isn't working. Um, so I can't really do anything besides just set basic codes and make this thing work. I didn't even try to get into this because of programming. I can't because the admin password's not even working. So maybe I have to do a complete, you know, wipe of it or something, but it should come defaulted one, two, three, four, five, six, as it says right there. Um, anyway, very unclear instructions. So we're gonna do a three and a half. The good things about it is the quality looks good. The, the ease of installation is awesome. It has all these great features, but it doesn't allow you to even use them because it's so, vague on everything and, and there's not enough details that you can't set things effectively and get users in there and be able to do this efficiently. So three and a half stars, uh, I would say until they get the, assuming that the instructions work the way they're supposed to, and assuming that maybe this has been, uh, admin password has been changed at some point, which is a brand new box. So I don't know how it could have been. Um, if all that would just, if the instructions were on point, I think it all be fine, but that's the problem. The instructions are so bad. I'm going to have to give it a three and a half until they fix the, the instructions. Now I've had reviews of these products before, which we're gonna do another video on, uh, EC Lock. It's a, uh, uh, I can't remember the product right now, but we did a, we did a, uh, it's like an A5 or EC Lock or something. We did a video on it and I sent the changes over to the manufacturer and they actually changed it. And I have the new item here and I gotta do another video on that one. So 
I'll let these people know as, as well. Say, hey, it looks like it's great all the way up to the programming where I don't know what's going on because it's all over the place on the instructions. So I'll send that off to them and let them know. And hopefully if they send me another one and they want to fix it, then we could do another video. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate the support as always. And don't forget to hit the like button and follow us on all our social media platforms.